Are you the blacksmith, Sir Joseph, or Joe Gargery by name? Oi, that's me. Have you no printers commonly known as Pip? Is he here? Uh, I'm Pip, sir. Oh, so you are Pip? <coughs> yes, sir. Well, Joseph Gargery, I am the bearer of an offer to relieve you of this young fellow, your apprentice. You would not object to cancel his apprenticeship for his own good at his own request? You would want nothing for so doing? Heaven forbid I should want anything for not standing in Pip's way. Very well, then. Now I come to this young fellow. And my communication to him is that he has come into great expectations. I am instructed to communicate to him that he will come into a handsome property. Further, uh, it is the desire of the present possessor of this property that he be removed from his present sphere of life and be brought up as befits a young gentleman of great expectations. First, Pip, you ought to understand that you ought to always bear the name of Pip. If you have any objection, now's the time to mention it. I have no objection. No, I should think not indeed. Uh, secondly, you ought to understand that the name of the person who is your liberal benefactor is to remain a profound secret until that person chooses to reveal it. If you have any suspicion, keep that suspicion within your own breast. If you have any objection, now's the time to mention it. Speak out. Oh, I have no objection. Well, there is a certain tutor of whom I have some knowledge who might suit the purpose. Notice I don't recommend him because I don't recommend anybody. The man I merely mention is one Mr. Matthew Pocket. Uh, yes, sir. Do you know the name? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Kindly consider me your guardian. I thank uh, you, no, sir. No, very well. I am paid for my services, otherwise I wouldn't render them. <laughs> I've arranged for you to go to London in a week's time. You'll need some new clothes. They should not be working clothes. 20 guineas. <laughs> well, Joseph Gargery, you look dumbfounded. 